Chapter 2 Research Chapter 2.1 What is Situation Analysis? First, I should do research. Why do I do research, Susan? Research helps you to understand your business situation clearly. It is called situation analysis. How do I do a situation analysis? There are two methods that you can use, a 3C analysis and a SWOT analysis. 3C analysis? SWOT analysis? Yeah, you can understand your business situation very well by using 3C analysis and SWOT analysis. Sounds great. Chapter 2.2, 3C analysis. What does 3C mean? 3C stands for customer, competitor, and company. Customer, competitor, and company. I see. How do I do a 3C analysis? First, let's analyze the customer of your cafe. What kind of customers are there at your cafe? Well, there are a lot of business people as my customers because my cafe is located in the business district. I see. After that, let's analyze the competitor of your cafe. My competitors would be the new cafe and the fast food shop. I see. After that, let's analyze the company. Company means your cafe. What kind of special features does your cafe have? Well, my cafe has a relaxed atmosphere and my customers can drink good tasting coffee. Excellent. This is a 3C analysis. I see. I can understand the business situation of my cafe using a 3C analysis. Chapter 2.3 SWOT Analysis You mentioned a second method for situation analysis. Yeah, you can use a SWOT analysis to understand your business situation very well. What does SWOT mean? SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I see. How do I do a SWOT analysis? First, let's analyze the strengths of your cafe. What are the strengths of your cafe? The strengths of my cafe are a relaxed atmosphere and good tasting coffee. Excellent. Next, let's analyze the weaknesses of your cafe. What are the weaknesses of your cafe? Well, the price of the coffee is expensive. This is the weakness of my cafe. I see. The analysis of strengths and weaknesses is called internal analysis. Internal analysis? Yeah, it is so called because strengths and weaknesses are internal factors. I see. What should I do after that? After that, let's analyze the opportunities of your cafe. What are the opportunities of your cafe? Opportunities? Well, the customers who work with mobile PCs have increased at my cafe. Excellent. After that, let's analyze the threats of your cafe. What are the threats of your cafe? The new cafe opened near my cafe. The customers of the new cafe have increased, and the customers of my cafe have decreased. Yeah. What kind of special features does new cafe have? Because the new cafe has stylish atmosphere and many kinds of dessert menu for young people, the new cafe is popular with younger people. What about the fast food shop? The fast food shop can supply food and drink at a low price. I see. The analysis of opportunities and threats is called external analysis. External analysis? It is so called because opportunities and threats are external factors. I see. How can you use your strengths to take advantage of the opportunities? Well, if I could supply the business people with the services to work comfortably at my cafe, I could satisfy them with my services. Good job, Eric. I can understand the business situation of my cafe very well using a SWOT analysis. Thank you, Susan. 
You are welcome, Eric. <laughs>